Bitcoin is currently creating a new falling wedge pattern and on today's update video I will be exactly discuss what this means for the Bitcoin price action right now what are the most important support levels of this entire trend we're currently consolidating in the Bitcoin spot ETF flows the most important short term and many other important charts which are telling us something about what is currently happening in this market so without any further ado don't forget to once again slap that like button back above 1000 likes it will be highly appreciate it and with that being said let me jump straight away in towards the content so first of all we can see that yesterday bitcoin recovered very strongly created somewhat of a w pattern and then straight away dumped all the way down again here and actually still managed to find some big support around that 65,000 US dollar level which was of course one of the most important levels bitcoin needed to hold on towards because that 65,000 US dollar level is of course that very big level of support which we need to be holding on towards and of course if we break below that range right there we are most likely going to come all the way down to $60,000 so due to the fact that we actually are still holding this level I believe that Bitcoin still has a chance, of course, of recovering back higher, even though we're trading in an ever so slight downtrend, because clearly we're creating lower lows together with lower highs, and the trend is clearly downwards for Bitcoin at this current moment of time. So right now, what I'm looking at, if I'm looking at Bitcoin, is of course this top side, this red line right here is the most important resistance for Bitcoin to be breaking above off. And at the same time, we're creating a new pattern, which is called a falling wedge pattern. And a falling wedge pattern is always created in an upper sloping trend on the larger scale. So here clearly you can see upper sloping trend on the larger scale. And then in that upper sloping trend, you create an ever so slight downtrend. You create a downward sloping resist line, a downward sloping support line. And once these levels are going to be meeting each other, we're going to be having a massive breakout. And at some point, the squeeze is going to be taking place here. And whenever the squeeze breakout is going to be happening on this falling wedge pattern, most likely we're going to be seeing a move towards the upside. Because a falling wedge pattern is a typical bullish bias pattern. It usually tends to get created in uptrends. And then, of course, you see an ever so slight correction down. And then you see the next move towards the upside again here so this is what i'm also expecting and this is very likely to be playing out actually on bitcoin right now here so currently we are in a larger uptrend only we're seeing an ever so slight downtrend and i do believe that this ever so slight downtrend is literally about to be ending and it could be about to be ending right now as well because if we're looking at the funding rates, we can currently see that the funding rates are heavily negative and this means that the majority of the traders are actually currently trading short in the market and while the majority of the traders are actually trading short, this is of course going to cause an even bigger short squeeze to be happening on the mar market and still the majority of the liquidity laying in the market, more than 10 billion US dollars worth of Bitcoin short liquidations are laying in that range between $72,000 to $74,000 US dollars. So make sure to keep your eyes wide open on this level right here because Bitcoin Bitcoin is clearly, clearly building up a lot of liquidity above us. And I said this so many times before, Bitcoin always follows the liquidity. And in this case as well, I do think that eventually Bitcoin is going to be grabbing the liquidity on the top side here. So you can see funding rates are negative. And I remain to be in my long position for Bitcoin because we're still not necessarily clearly breaking bearish. And I still believe that ultimately we're going to be seeing a push higher for Bitcoin. So yeah, I remain to be in my long position. And if you want to be trading yourself, you can currently also open up a trade on Bybit. And you can actually open up a free trade on Bybit if you right now sign up an account using this link right here in the description. Because if you sign up an account using that link right there, you can currently claim a free $200 trade on Bybit. And all you need to do for that is deposit $100 in your first seven days on the account. And if you do so, you can claim that free $200 trade on Bybit. So make sure to check it out in the link description of today's video because today is the last day that you could be claiming this deposit bonus. So please do not miss it. So at the same time, while we had all these things happening in the market, we actually still saw another negative day on the spot Bitcoin ETF. Well, last weekend, we had actually a very good week. This week was extremely horrible for Bitcoin. And actually, we're starting to see that the inflows on the spot uh, Bitcoin ETF on BlackRock are also coming down very significantly significantly and yeah on fidelity we're seeing loads and loads of outflows so that is actually very interesting to be seeing at this moment of time and basically if we're going to continue the chart further i mean we can see that bitcoin is going sideways for over 112 days right now here and basically we're currently waiting for a bit and basically currently we're just waiting for a massive breakout to be happening on bitcoin so 
I'm just waiting to see whenever it's going to be happening, but I do believe that we're very close towards it. I mean, yeah, we are potentially creating that double uh, top structure, which we are currently seeing right here. And if we really break below this green box right here of support, then I really believe that Bitcoin could be dropping much lower. But right now first, I'm going to keep my attention towards this falling wedge pattern. And if we really break below the support box, I think we're going to be heading lower. But for now, it is clearly not the case to be thinking that Bitcoin is actually going to be going lower at all. I mean, we're still creating creating this inverse hand and shoulders pattern and as long as we're holding the green box i think everything is actually still looking okay for bitcoin and if we break below the green box that is the point where we're most likely going to be seeing the breakdown and if the breakdown happens the next big support level for bitcoin is clearly laying around 60,000 US dollars so this is what i'm paying my attention towards right now this is what i'm looking at right now here and these are the most important levels of support and resistance in this current market right now here and volatility is remaining to be sitting at an extreme low in the market right now there's just only been sideways price action and always after long periods of sideways action in the market we're always going to get very explosive price action afterwards so it's a matter of time before we're going to be seeing that explosive price action once again here and i'm just waiting for it right now before that is going to be happening next year so yeah right now bitcoin is consolidating in a descending rolling wedge and we're just waiting to see whenever that next breakout is going to be happening. And one thing is for sure, it is going to be happening at one point in the market. And I believe it's not going to be taking long anymore since we've been consolidating sideways for already so long right now here. So yeah, today, once again, nothing really special. We are right now creating that falling wedge pattern, which I believe is a very important one to pay attention towards. If we break the downtrend, we are going to be going higher. We're going to go back towards the top side of the region and take out the liquidity. So yeah, thanks so much for watching towards amazing new update video. Hope to see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Goodbye.